Hello everybody, it is BYG Agami back with another video. So we got episode 9's title for Varane a while ago, which is the sought after enemy, but today we actually got the summary and I do want to say thank you to DMC for translating the summary for episode 9 along with episode 10. I will link his uh, WordPress down in the description below. But even before we got the summary, a lot of fans were speculating that this might be the duel with Revolver. And that is the case because in the episode 9 summary it states in order to obtain the program that removes the virus that infected Aoi, Yusaku commences a duel against Revolver with AI who is also known as Ignis as a wager, which both of them are evenly matched. Revolver then activates a shocking skill. So immediately after reading this, I can only think of one moment in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's in Duel Monsters during Battle City 1, which is... The Junochi vs Yugi duel along with Anzu at stake. Of course, Merrick was mind controlling Junochi at the time and then he sort of broke through it because of that whole cliche friendship bullshit that happens in Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's similar to this because there's a lot at stake with Yugi at the time and then for Yusaku in this case because if Yusaku loses, Aoi is still infected with that virus. And then if he also loses, AI or Ignis is gone as well. And Revolver has a lot on stake as well because if he loses, then Ignis gets away along with Aoi. And the thing is, he's been after Ignis for five years. So you can argue that both duelists are very motivated for this duel. So I'm going to really enjoy this. And also, the thing with animation is that they usually go light on episodes that are sort of small in comparison to the bigger episodes in terms of plot. And the thing is, this is a very iconic moment for Vrains a few years down the line because it is going to be the first duel that Yusaku has with Revolver. So I'm going to guess that this episode is going to be highly animated. Everything's going to look really clean and crisp. So I'm really going to enjoy the animation in this episode. But talking about what happens and what I like about this, I really do like that there's a lot at stake for Yusaku. In addition to that, I also like how they're evenly matched. Now, at first, if you would have told me this earlier, very early on in Varane's, I would have gotten sort of pissed off because of the whole cliche Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist that it is a prodigy. I mean, like the first three were prodigies and it gets kind of boring and annoying, but it's good to see that Revolver has at least one thing above Yusaku, which is his skill. Now, in the episode 10 preview, which is titled Assault, Psy vs. Extermination, due to Revolver's brutal assault, which is the skill most likely, what happens after the skill, Playmaker is now on the defensive. He then uses Storm Axis to obtain a card in order to turn things around. However, due to Revolver's tactics, the two of them now inside of the data storm. So this is what I think happens. This is very, very obvious on what's going to happen in episode 10. We all know that with Yusaku's skill, he's allowed to go into the data storm and get a card. So he's of course going to use his skill. And then from that, he's most likely going to get Firewall Dragon, which is his ace. And then what I think occurs since Revolver is a very good duelist and he does have, you know, tricks up his sleeves. He's going to go in the data storm as well as the preview stated. And then he's going to get his ace monster, which is Topologic Bomber Dragon. So I like that the two aces of our, uh, of our hero and villain or hero and rival are both coming out of their duels against each other. That, I think that's a really cool and a little neat thing that they added. As for could this possibly be the ending of the duel, it most likely is. This is a two-part duel, but it most likely could be a three-part duel as well. I don't really know. But just from what is stated, I think that after a Revolver gets the card, the Topologic Bomber Dragon, from the data store, most likely of course, then he gets up on top. Or... There could be something that's going behind the scenes, which I think could happen, where Kusanagi is attempting to hack the program to try to save Aoi, since, since Kusanagi probably knows that Revolver might defeat Yusaku. In addition to that, it's also, you know, just for, for a, sh a safety measure, and possibly Revo a Revolver towards the end of the duel is going to win, but Kusanagi hacks the program and saves Aoi. So then Yusaku probably dips or something like that, even though I don't think it's in his uh, in his personality to dip simply because he's always looking, he, he seems like a person that looks for a challenge and doesn't back away from stuff. But at the same time, Yusaku does think on his feet very quickly. I don't know. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below and comment down below who you think is going to win this duel. Is it going to be where no one wins somehow or is it going to be where Revolver wins or Yusaku? Now, of course, I want Revolver to win since I'm a Revolver fanboy. He's my favorite character in Vrains. I really do like his design along with his motives and how long he waited. Of course, it's not like darts level waiting like 10,000 years, but 
Still, I do like the determination that Revolver shows in addition to the whole mysterious factor to him as well. So, as always, I do want to say thank you to DMC. Comment your guys' thoughts down below. Check out also DMC's WordPress, which I will link down below, and the Facebook and Twitter fan page regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! Varane's. See you guys later.